Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV. Your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it's going to take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed as that web page is no longer live. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, please give us a call in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2010 Born Free Built for Two. Alrighty folks, we are inside of this Born Free Built for Two. As always, I'm gonna start my way at the front, make my way towards the rear, and then come back towards the front to try to get you a few different angles so you can get a feel for the overall space as well as the overall condition. Today's riddle or joke comes to you from Joyce. Uh, Joyce lives in the Indianapolis area. Joyce is one of our loyal YouTube followers. She works at a nursing home and a lot of times they use riddles and jokes to cheer up their patients. If you boil a funny bone, it becomes a laughing stock. That's humorous. We were a small family owned and operated dealership. My father started this business back in 1976. Myself and my brother Luke have taken over the day-to-day -day operations. So if you stop in here, you're more than likely going to meet me or Luke. Born Free is a very high-quality coach. Uh, they personally are one of my favorites towards the top of my list as far as build, uh, floor plans, layouts, all the things that uh, check off all the boxes for me. Both of these front chairs are flex steel. Flex steel is just a little bit higher quality RV furniture. They're also known for making uh, household furniture, so you may actually have flex steel in your house or home. Uh, Born Free uses a lot of real oak or real plywood oak cabinetry. We've got oak all the way throughout this one. Antenna or crank for the TV antenna there. The fantastic fan has a wireless remote, which is located there. That is the thermostat for the propane furnace as well as the rooftop air conditioning unit. This is dubbed or named the Born Free Built for Two. So as the name suggests, this is built for two people. Both of these side windows do open here. This back, hack, back, back half or back section opens. You can crack it just slightly. These are intended there, those little grills. So you can leave that window open to that spot. And unless you have driving rain, if it's just a drizzle, you can leave the window open and still get some airflow. So your two people, your two persons are going to sleep here on each one of these couches, as you've seen, couch or bed. Uh, both of these do incline. So you can raise this end of the bed up if you'd like. Raise your head up if you're the type that needs to sleep with your head inclined. Or if you just want to watch TV, lounge, read a magazine, read the newspaper, read a book, look at your smartphone, tablet, whatever you want to do, uh, you can incline and do so. Again, this half of the window opens. If you want to crack it to there, again, I just explained that for you. The remote to uh, raise those beds, one's located there. They each have their own remote for each side. This one is over here, roughly in the same spot. Kitchen area, we've got a couple cabinets overhead. Uh, paper towel holder, got this nice looking backsplash here with a little wave on it. Kind of catchy, catches the eye. Uh, two basin kitchen sink. Both of those have the covers to give you extra counter space when you need it. Corian countertops, nice solid surface Corian countertops. Uh, we've got a light switch here. This one is for the front lights. Our water heater switch is there. This does have the propane gas as well as the electric water heater in it. So you've got dual fuel on the water heater. And that switch there is for the light in the shower. Uh, I'm sure as you've noticed on both sides, uh, this is a flip up counter extension, or you can just use it as a small table when you are sitting on the end there. As I've mentioned, Born Free always does these nice spice racks, which the ladies really seem to love. We have a three burner cooktop. Again, Corian countertops, three burner cooktop. Uh, Born Free tries to think as much stuff as they can. You can take this off. There is a little slot here. When you're using the cooktop, you can actually slide that in there. Uh, so you've got a nice safe storage place for that cover there. Our levels gauges are on the range hood. We're going to hold the monitor switch here. It'll light up those gauges. Our water pump switch. 
hood fan and light. We do have a stainless uh, convection slash microwave oven. A nice big freezer and fridge combination unit. Uh, this is a two-way, so it will be propane gas or 110 volt electricity. It's kind of rare in these smaller 23 foot, 22 foot motorhomes to get a fridge of this size. It's a really nice feature there that you get the nice big fridge and freezer. Got some storage down bottom. This guy here is your battery disconnect switch. Fire extinguisher in the corner. Uh, this is a rear entry model. On the passenger side of the unit, we have a huge wardrobe here. Got a rod so you can hang your clothes. Uh, if you want to use this for something else, you could also put modular shelving in here and use this to store anything that you would want to. Uh, but nice huge corner closet here. The wet bath restroom is on the driver's side of the coach. So we've got our commode here. Um, our bidet, or some people use them as a bidet, I believe. I've never used it as a, as a bidet, but hey, if you want to use it as a bidet, go ahead. Uh, you can also use it mainly, what I use it for is to rinse the stool out if you need to rinse it. This is a wet bath, so you are going to shower inside this closet here. This is a fiberglass form drain pan down here. You can sit on the toilet if you'd like to. Uh, you can stand there as well, whichever you prefer. Bathroom sink. This valve here is going to control the sink as well as the shower. You can see the hose going up there. Got our shower head up there. Medicine cabinet with mirror on the wall. There is a curtain. Uh, it's tucked back in here. Curtain to pull across the door so you can keep the water contained in the closet. Uh, soap, shampoo dispenser back there. This does have vinyl flooring in the rear entry slash bath area with carpet flooring in the front. Born Free is known for their high quality coaches. They do also have a three point roll bar system. Uh, so if you notice in the ceiling here, we have these bump outs or bump downs, one there and one there. Those both have a roll bar in it. There is also one behind me right at the rear entry door. Uh, one of the things that this company that they wanted to do was build a safer RV. So their idea, uh, the way that they wanted to achieve that was by including those roll bars in here. As you've seen so far throughout this coach, this is a very nice clean one. Uh, somebody is definitely taking care of it. I'll show you the storage here. You're gonna see more of the storage on the outside, but these are four doors down here, but you can flip these down to access the storage underneath the couches. There is a freestanding table. I know a lot of you like your tables. There is a freestanding table. The table is tucked in behind the driver's seat. The leg and the tripod base are behind the passenger seat. So being freestanding, if you want to put it at the front, middle, rear, you can set that table wherever you want with that tripod base. You can also uh, actually take it outside, being that it's freestanding. So if you want to keep it in here, you can keep it in here. If you want to take it outside, uh, multi-use with that freestanding uh, three-point base. You can see we've got some speakers up top here. We've got a 19-inch flat screen TV with a built-in DVD player. We have a Generac 4K gasoline generator showing 51 hours. These here are controls for a Kingdom satellite. That is one of the things that we do not test. I do not have a subscription for um, Dish or DirecTV, either one. Most of those satellite dishes are obsolete after a few years, so we do not, we do not test those satellite systems. If it works for you, hey, that's an added bonus. Uh, cigarette lighter, power the TV, coax, Got some extra cables laying in there. There is a lot of storage. You can kind of uh, tuck things back in there. TV remote is on Velcro right behind the TV there. We have, uh, this looks just looks like a parts magazine or good Zam magazine. Manuals, Ford manuals. We have a curtain that we can pull across the front here. So if you're just going to pop off the road for the night, stop at a rest stop or when you're camping, same. Uh, but it's nice and quick and easy. You can pull that across there, get yourself some privacy. Overall, really nice clean coach. It is a 2010. We have 76,000 miles on this one. 76,000 miles on a 2010 Ford E350 chassis. All loaded up up front. Power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, CD player. Overall, I'm going to call this thing a nine to nine and a half based on the year and the age and the miles. Uh, outside shined up very nicely. Uh, stripes do have a, finer, a few minor 
flaws, chips in the edge of those, things like that. Uh, but the body itself shined up very nicely. Just a few flaws in the stripes. Nothing terrible. There are a few spots. Interior, um, I honestly can't really find any flaws. I'm sure you can find one somewhere, but overall, a really nice, clean coach. So I'm going to call this a nine or nine and a half. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. Best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty, folks, we're going to run around the outside of this Born Free built for two. We are just under 23 feet from bumper to bumper. The front tires are Firestones and have date codes of 4118. The back tires are Michelins and have date codes of 3615. We have a 12 foot manual awning. This does sit on the Ford E350 chassis. It is powered by the 6.8 liter Triton V10 engine. As you can see, it is nice and shiny, uh, well kept on the outside as well as the inside. This storage compartment here is accessible from the inside as well as the outside. We've got the doors there that you'll see on the inside portion or you saw on the inside portion. This guy here is the power motor to lift up that, uh, those beds or incline those beds. We've got some leveling blocks that we left there for you. Our propane tank, the vent for our propane furnace, a couple of exterior outlets. This one here is the vent and the access to the back of a refrigerator. I'm gonna drop down here first. This is just a small storage compartment. The previous owner used it to keep the sewer hose. We have a storage compartment here that again is also accessible from the inside through that door there. Got our fresh water hose, shore power cord, uh, some furnace duct work, and then the back of your water heater. Uh, I do like that the Born Freeze always tend to leave the back of the water heater open like this because you've got one, two, three valves there. You can use those when you are winterizing it to bypass that water heater. Makes it much quicker and easier and nicer to get to those. Makes that winterization process a lot faster. We do have a tow package. It's, the hitch is tucked up under there, underneath the step. The vent and access to the water heater there. Ladder there. Again, as you can see, nice and straight and shiny down this side. We're gonna drop down bottom first here. We've got the valves and the dump for our black and gray water. We're gonna hook our shore power cord up here. Fill our gasoline tank here. We've got our city water connection. We're gonna fill our onboard fresh water tank here. This is the valve for the outside shower. We've got a, it's either a telephone or cable TV jack there. Uh, light out there if you want to shower in the dark. We do have two coach batteries on a slide out tray. It does appear that those are both crowns, so those are brand new batteries. We got a sewer hose storage there. Our Generac 4K gasoline generator. And then on this side here, you can also access the storage underneath the couch from the outside as well as the inside. We got some of those uh, hazard triangles that you can pop up. Doors there that you can access from the inside. Tool to remove your uh, chrome simulators. Again, the motor to raise the bed. That is all for the outside. Ooh.